In this video, let's have a quick presentation on the Asana Gantt charts. They are basically the timeline view of Asana. This video is brought to you by Software Horsepower. As a project manager, Gantt chart provides insight into how all the pieces of your project fit in together. Asana can make project management much more straightforward, making a real difference to your project's long-term success and your team's productivity. So, first of all, let's click on Create Project and use a template in a timeline view. For suppose, one chooses event planning. The next step is to go to a new template, press Next and create a project. Here, one will land on the main screen of the newly created project. Gantt chart is a standard visualization and project management. It's a horizontal bar chart that illustrates the project timeline program or work. Gantt charts are useful because one can see their project schedule, track milestones and assist work timeline. Each bar in the Gantt chart represents a step in the process or task in the project. The length of each bar represents the amount of time that step or task will take. Use task dependencies with Asana offers one a way to help organize complex projects. Task dependencies in Asana timeline are perfect if one is looking for cross-team initiatives or large ambitious projects. This is the timeline view, where one can see all the tasks that are lined up for today. Here, one has options of having a look at incomplete tasks, completed tasks and all tasks. One also has the option of choosing hours, days, weeks, months, quarters, half years and years. One can sort out according to the start date, due date and assignee. Here one can also customize the color from the bar. One can see two tasks that automatically got created in this particular template, which is purple and pink in color. So if user wants to change the due date or the slots of the task, one can drag and change. One can also drag and change the end date of the task, it is quite easier as compared to the list view of Asana. One will be notified of each and everything over here, of the activities performed. Now let's create task dependencies, one can drag the event created, and draw a line and connect it to any other task with which one wants to create a dependency. So this is how one will connect both of these tasks. One can zoom in to see that both of these tasks got dependent on each other. Now let's connect the pink task to the aqua color task. This is how the dependence is created between the two. Here, one can also see the details by clicking over the main task. Like here one can see that this particular task has been assigned to no one. One can see in the due date, the start date and the end date of the particular task, the name of the project, and its dependencies also can be seen. Like here, it shows dependencies on the two tasks, and the start date and the end date of each as well. A few tips that one can keep in mind while using Asana Gantt charts is to define the time range, specify task start date and end dates, clarify goals and dependencies, pinpoint milestones, update, work as plans and change, and user is good to go with the gang charts. Contact Software Horsepower to book a free demo. Visit softwarehorsepower.com.